So look, all the stones are wet out there as we're going to be looking ahead uh, to a good chance of rain into Sunday and Monday. But right now, look, they're practicing at Anderson University. We've got mostly cloudy skies uh, and we do have a few showers out there, most of them up in western North Carolina and over towards Charlotte. Well, we're still going to have a chance for a sprinkle or two, but if you've got plans to be out and about, uh, just know that you're not going to get soaked at this point. Uh, in, the up, in the mountains, we do have just a few light showers. All of this is streaming along a boundary that's mainly going to stay north of the upstate uh, at least through midday Saturday. And a little bit of that's going to start to sink in. I'll show you on future track in just a second. In your next 24 hours, though, how much rain are we talking? Well, again, through much of Saturday, just isolated showers. We'll be upping the ante as we go towards Sunday and Monday, uh, the next 24 hours, not a whole lot in the way of rain. Temperatures in the mid 40s tonight, cool, but certainly not all that cold. And then look at the highs for tomorrow, near 70 for Spartanburg, 66 in Asheville, 69 in Greenville. So hour by hour, here's what you really want to know. When is it going to rain? And our data is coming together pretty well at this point, where we're looking at the overnight period, a few showers in the mountains. But here's the start of Saturday, really looking quite nice. M most Mostly cloudy conditions, yeah, at least won't get a lot of sunshine, but very little rain. And then the rain's going to start to slide in through the day. You can see some light rain by around 6 p.m., but much of this is going to hold off through the afternoon. So that's some good news for your plans to be outside. Now here's when it gets a little heavier. This is Sunday morning, 8 a.m., still most of it in the mountains, but it's going to be sliding into the upstate through the morning so that by around lunchtime, really peaks, and a lot of this is going to shift to the south into the evening. So that's why I think your grilling plan for the big game could be okay. This is 5 p.m. on Sunday. And then Monday morning, starting out with more rainfall. That Monday after the big game is always a little bit tough. So add some rain in the mix just to make it even tougher. Two to three inches of rainfall will be possible, slowing things down early Sunday, early Monday, one to two uh, south of ID5. So a look at your next seven days, rain to start the work week. We're going to be fine tuning the timing on that as well as we get a little closer to Monday, but certainly some showers in the morning and even a few downpours in the afternoon will be possible. And then Valentine's Day, it looks beautiful, mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid 50s, right around 50 degrees in the mountains with uh, temperatures falling down into the the 20s at night, so it will get a lot colder. Next couple nights, though, fairly mild. Now let's head to Chris to check in on our.